It was meant to explain the government's benefit changes, but this leaflet has led to far more questions. Are the claimants really who they claim to be? Like Zach and Sarah. Sarah didn't have a CV, so lost some of her payments. She says, I got a letter to say my benefit would go down for two weeks. But then she did as she was asked, and her benefits increased. Back to normal now, and I'm really pleased with how my CV looks. The problem is, there is no Sarah. There is no CV. It was made up. Some charities who help real claimants say this is completely wrong. It's extraordinary that they should have done that, put, um, you know, invented uh, good stories. But actually, in some ways, not surprising. There, there can't be any good stories really out there. Work and Pension Secretary Ian Duncan Smith pushed through changes to welfare under the coalition government. We are developing sanctions for those who refuse to play by the rules. New benefit sanctions mean people's payments can be reduced for a time if they haven't hit certain targets. It's always been controversial. Now the government's forced to explain how it's getting its message across. The Department for Work and Pensions say the case studies were used for illustrative purposes to help people understand how the benefit system works. They were based on conversations between staff and claimants, but they have now been removed to avoid confusion. But even those who support the government's reforms have questions about the leaflet. I think most people are going to be quite bemused that the DWP felt the need to make up these case studies, not least because there are thousands of real genuine examples out there of people who have been helped back into work and off of the welfare rolls. So we may not be hearing from fictional Zach or made-up Sarah again soon, but this was an opportunity too good to be missed for the opposition. Labour say the only way the government can find backers for its sanctions regime is by inventing them. Lewis Vaughan-Jones, ITV News, Westminster.